Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, and we want to talk to you a little bit about Ukraine, uh, the situation going on in there, and of course, Russia's uh, counterstrikes in Ukraine that has been targeting the infrastructure of Ukraine. Of course, this was in response to uh, Ukraine or allegedly Ukraine blowing up the, the Crimean bridge uh, that, that Moscow built. But of course, evidence came out that uh, kind of points the finger back to NATO members uh, striking this bridge here. And of course, Putin is very upset about that and then ordered this, uh, this strike of multiple cruise missiles coming into the region there. Uh, destroying infrastructure inside of Ukraine. And a lot of people don't really know why or what the real intent is of why Russia is destroying uh, the infrastructure there. And we're going to kind of help you to understand that a little bit better uh, about what's going on, <coughs> excuse me, and the real reason behind that. Before I get into some of that, though, let me just share with you real quick. Uh, we just uploaded Another video over on Patreon, the mission of the X-37B secret space plane. This was something that uh, uh, Brother Paul Begley over on his channel. Well, where is, where is it at? Well, I don't even don't have Paul's channel up right now. Anyway, we had showed a little bit of the clip there of uh, uh, or talked about where Paul had brought this out. Uh, this was that X-37B uh, plane that came in, uh, landed there uh, in the United States, uh, and, and that information was kind of leaked out. I'm sure it was leaked out intentionally. Uh, as you'll notice, though, look at the little tiny size of that craft compared to a real space shuttle right there. And, of course, in the picture uh, there, I show you just how small, you can see how small the guys are uh, uh, as well. Uh, let's see, I don't know if I've got that at the beginning or where that's at. But anyway, very the, the, the plane is really very, very small. Paul, there, There's Paul right there. Paul was actually showing a real space shuttle coming in for a landing uh, instead of the X-37B. But he does show images of the X-37B while it's on the ground there. Uh, but we place this over on our Patreon channel. There we go. The guys are standing up around it. Not a very big. And we reveal the real reason for the mission of that. No one that we can find thus far on the Internet has put out why that was out there. So we go into that. Now, let's get back over to the situation of the power plant uh, that's over in Ukraine. Russia calls on Ukraine to pull out heavy weapons from Zaporizhia. I don't even know how to say the name right, nuclear power plant. And uh, But what's really going on is that Russia is strategically making a move. And this is something the Joint Chiefs of Staff has already been warned about, is this strategic move that they're making. And nobody seems to be paying attention to this. Uh, we actually shared that with you guys a little, bit, a little while back about how that Russia may very well allow this power plant to melt down and create a no man's land uh, between Russia and Europe there so that they don't have to worry about them putting in nuclear bombs and things like that along the border of, of uh, Ukraine there with Russia. And so although the Joint Chiefs have been warned about this very possibility, it kind of falls on deaf ears. In fact, what's interesting is how that there was so much in the news uh, spoke, spoke about about Kyrgyzstan, which is right here on the map. We kind of zoom in here on Kyrgyzstan there, coming down the river there, how that they pushed the Russians out of the out of Kyrgyzstan, and the Russians went fleeing. Well, we got it on good sources there. Russia wasn't pushed out of Kyrgyzstan. Russia evacuated, and that was the real reason. Now, if you'll notice, though, where is Kyrgyzstan relationship here to the nuclear power plant? Now, here's all of Ukraine. And Russia had taken that area, but the nuclear power plant is right up here in this area here. Uh, as you can see, if I click on it there, there's the, oh, actually, I, I was looking at the, pointing out to the wrong place there. But, uh, but if you look here on the map, here we go, right here. This is where the, this is where the nuclear power plant actually sits. It's the largest nuclear power plant in Europe. And why would Russia then begin to evacuate? Well, if you recall in our broadcast that we did before, once you see Russian forces beginning to pull back and retreat from these areas here, you know that Putin is getting ready to allow that power plant to melt down. Now, the Ukrainians still continue to lob you know, mortars and things like that at this facility, which is really a suicide mission to do so. But <clears throat> as as uh, Russian forces are pulling out of Kyrgyzstan, 
NATO has their own forces because we actually have forces on the ground. U.S. forces are even on the front lines as well. In fact, Ukraine could have never pushed Russian forces out alone. Just would not have happened. But Russian forces were retreating because they'd already been given orders by the Kremlin. Pull back. <clears throat> They're about to let this all melt down. And then what was shared with me that I found very interesting is that the real reason behind all this is that what Putin is planning on doing is allowing that plant to melt down. In other words, is the way it was put to me, if he continues to hit the infrastructure, continues to bring down the power grid inside of Ukraine, eventually it will have a reaction of its own course on the power plant itself. And when it does, when it actually does, that will be where the danger comes in. Because why? Once that, once that plant melt, once there is no power uh, they can even run the, the, the nuclear power plant there. There's no way to bring the reactors down. There's no way to do anything safely. And then the power plant would melt down all on its own. This is how serious the situation is. And you can't help but wonder, are NATO commanders even paying attention to what's really happening there? I highly doubt it. Uh, and after all, Russia, using strategic moves, will end up causing this thing to melt down and nobody else is paying a bit of attention to what's really going on. Uh, you know, one thing I will say too, uh, uh, just this is kind of like a little sideline here. I was looking at CNN because like if you go to look for the, you know, Russia launching the cruise missiles in and stuff like that, it's almost like YouTube scrubs almost everything off of the internet. But CNN had uh, some some um, footage up there of of the uh, of that, let's see, we have here. That's the Wall Street Journal. Uh, it's a little different. Maybe that's a different video there. But CNN, I actually pulled up one of theirs first, and and ABC though they're showing different footages as well. But what's interesting is CNN was showing footages and stuff, saying these were the cruise missiles that are launched 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 in by Russia, right? And you could tell obviously it was not cruise missile that caused the damage, but they still show all this different footages and stuff like that and saying Russia did that. I'm like, this is like nuts, right? <clears throat> Some of the things that they show definitely have nothing to do with cruise missiles coming in from Russian ships or either, either from Russian uh, SU bombers that they have coming in. Uh, so it, it's amazing how we keep getting fed all the propaganda here in the West. So just a little side note on that issue there. Anyway, <clears throat> listen, also too, if you happen to uh, join us on Patreon. The link will be in the description below in the video there uh, where you can see this. We're going to be, we got another video we're going to be loading up there. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing a very special broadcast. And I did this one here. It's actually unlisted on the Noahide laws prophesied in the Bible. But <clears throat> I'm going to go into something that will shock, well, the entire community. Um, I'm not sure if I can even put it on Patreon. I may have to put that one on iConnectFX only. So you may have to go to iConnectFX.com, subscribe to us there. We'll put a link in the description below for you. Um, there is a tragic thing that has happened, and uh, I'm going to share some details about that for you <clears throat> that's happened to our family. So uh, just please keep us, uh, remember us if you would, uh, and, and don't forget uh, you can support the work we do. Right above my head here, IsraeliNewsLive.org. Uh, has our, our mailing address. It's also on the screen, Stephen Benoon, P.O. Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee. We really do need your help and your support. Um, it, it, we are under tremendous financial burden with the things that we're dealing with. <clears throat> and that's one of the reasons why I'm going to share uh, a private video about the Noahide laws, how that has affected our family directly, uh, why we were targeted. <clears throat> so I'll be going into some of those things there. Uh, I can't get into names or anything like that, but I think there's enough information has been leaked out already. Not intentionally. It was somebody that did something that we're not supposed to, but, uh, but nonetheless, we will try to give you some better insight of what is really going on. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, prepare for a long winter, guys. Things are going to go crazy. That's another thing I need to bring out to you as well. Why are we having such unusual weather, cold and heat, things like that? There is a reason for it, and I'll try to do that over on Patreon as well. I uh, hope that all will be a blessing for you. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you.